Hey, uh, Donald V2, uh, what, what do you have for an idea for our next game to play through? Hmm. How about this? OBJECTION! Let's play Phoenix Wright. Sound good? Hello, everybody. Halo 3 Amateur here. And Donald V2. And welcome to our new Let's Play. And what are we going to do Let's Play today? Pwa! Wah! Wah! Objection! We went over this already. <laughs> Wah! Anyway. Presented by Capcom. Yay, Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yay, Capcom. Still waiting for the thousand... Uh, for the longest night of the thousandth year for the eight stars. Yeah. <laughs> they commanded his return. But yes, we will be playing Phoenix Rice Ace Attorney. Yes. We'll be going to court record two since the new file, and he's going to be playing the game, so. Let's, uh. Yes. Get a little closer. There we go. I thought you was going to sit down there, that's why I moved it right there. I'm not playing, and there's no courts. <laughs> the first turnabout. Yep. Tutorial chapter. Keep in mind, folks, I have not played this game before in my life. Completely blank for him. Not Based off mem remembrance for me. I that, think we need to turn it down just a little bit. That's a bloody statue. Well, I don't know where the remote is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> just, uh... Are good? Yeah, I'll be good. We got to move the pin on. Someone like him. Who's him? I'll make it look like he did it. Who? August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court Defense. Defendant Lobby Number 2. Uh, I think you hit the wrong button. Did I? I think oh. So. oh. Uh. I was holding it sideways. Yeah, don't hold it sideways. I think the two button is the pause button. Boy, am I nervous. <laughs> right. We need to read it. <laughs> well, still. Yeah, uh, I guess... I guess the, the funny part of this game is the dialogue, but... Yeah. And not, even, not everyone takes on a murder to try all around the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Again, completely blind for me. So. And based off memory for Donald V2. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. He does, but I don't. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun ride. Phoenix Wright. He is this the is greatest. His, this is his first case. He's a, he's a rookie. Yes. So, let's get... It's so over. over. My, My life, life everything is all, all over. What? Uh, is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Death <laughs> despair. Oh. oh! Guys. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna do, do it. it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna die. die. <laughs> Sounds okay. like he wants to die. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Buttons. <laughs> uh, hey, hey there, Larry. <laughs> Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Uh, <laughs> then why are you giving me a thumbs up? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Give me the death because I'm afraid, afraid to die. You're lying. <laughs> Oh, it's, oh, it's all, all over. over. I, I'm, I'm finished. Finished. <laughs> what the hell? I can't live with a world without her. I can't. Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me who did it. Who took my baby away? Nick. Who took my baby? Is Nick his real name? Uh... What? I think Nick is maybe Phoenix's name. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, maybe. Newspaper says it was you. 
Okay. My name is Beesbury. Here's the story. <laughs> My first case is a fairly simple one. Yeah, okay. A young woman was killed in her apartment. Yeah, that's simple. <laughs> the guy they arrested was there. The unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My Larry. best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's it's no, it's it's been been true. true. Wow. Well, that's okay. This is gonna be a good time. <laughs> he has a knack for getting himself into trouble. One thing I can say though is usually not his fault. He he just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. <laughs> That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to cheer, to clear his name. To cheer his name. Yes, to cheer his name. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> and that's just what I'm going to do. But, but, he's our man. If he can't do it, great. First <laughs> <laughs> third, 10 a.m., district court, courtroom number two. Ah! The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butt. Why is your last name Butts? <laughs> Change your last name, man. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to point out something here. Okay. In the cutscene, before it showed the judge just then, uh -huh. Phoenix was on the right, not the left. <laughs> He's on the left now. I think... Like a, don't know how to really say it happens. I think it's on the left because player one usually on the left. The computer's on the right. You see in games, fighting <laughs> round one. Fight. Yeah, I, I know, but <laughs> we're not in a fighting game. <laughs> we are now, though. Ahem, Mr. Wright, this is your friend. This is your friend trial. Yes. First this trial. is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm um. A little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will be deciding the fate of your clients. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thanks. Thank you, Your Honor. Ellipses. Dot, dot, dot. Mr. Wright, given the circumstance, I think we should have a test to assert, uh, a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Go. Mm -hmm. nope. Hands shaking. Uh, sight fading. Clear <laughs> <laughs> the test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Larry Butts. No, oh, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Or Rat, just keep your wits about you and you'll be fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what is the victim's name? Wait, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 Press the plus button and check it at any time, okay? Cindy. Cindy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you check it off, then do it for me, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Let's hear your answer. Who's the victim in this case? Uh, Cindy. Cinder. Stone. Cinder block. Mia Fey. his name is Cindy Stone. <laughs> Correct. Now, tell me what's the cause of death. Yeah, because she was... Hit with a blunt object. <laughs> you know, first question, B. Second question, C. Third question, B. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, no. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. 
see much more relaxed, right? Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor, because I don't feel relaxed. <laughs> That's for sure. Well then. First, the question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Oh, God. Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck by a blunt object. Would you please record just what that object was? The murder weapon of the statue of the thinker. He was found laying on the floor next to the victim. See, the court accepts this into the evidence. Yay! Now you, can press, now you can press uh, plus to get that uh, access to that too. Submitted as evidence by Prosecutor Payne. Yeah. Right. Be sure to pay attention, sure to, pay attention to any evidence added right. during the trial. The evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Press the plus button. <laughs> You're breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> what is a plus button? What is this? <laughs> What is this plus what you speak of? <laughs> Do it frequently. Okay. Yay, statue. I'm not going to click on it yet. Yeah. Click. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. <laughs> the prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, oh, geez, what, what do I do, I do now? now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. We'll get a chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. There he gets excited, excited easily. This, this could, could be, be bad. bad. <laughs> 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 twitch, twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Butts. Is it, uh, is it not true that the victim was recently dumped, had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. Jesus! <laughs> See his face? Yeah! <laughs> Show that again! <laughs> oh, I see it like a billion more times before it's all over. Jeez! Like there. <laughs> <laughs> we were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Kim, Pastor, and Mark Anthony. <laughs> uh, um, did they, they all die? die. <laughs> I wasn't done. She was just talking to me. My phone calls for seeing me. She just wasn't taking my phone call for seeing me ever. <laughs> what is to you anyway? <laughs> <laughs> what you described is generally what we mean by dumb. <laughs> In fact, she had completely abandoned you and you were and was seeing other men. Uh, okay. She had just returned overseas from one day before with with one of them the day before the murder. <laughs> what do you mean, one of them? <laughs> <laughs> He's all been lying! I don't believe a word of it! <laughs> Your Honor, the victim passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport. Okay. <laughs> hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. Dude, no way. <laughs> Victim was a model, but she did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Uh, daddies? Sugar? Sure. <laughs> yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! Dude! <laughs> we can clearly see what kind of woman this, this Miss Stone was. Gold digger! <laughs> Tell me something. What do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you wanted him to answer this question. Yeah, Larry has a way of ruining his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? My client has no idea. The had no idea. Yeah. That's what I said. He said pants. I had, well, whatever. <laughs> had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. What do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she dog. I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna drop dead. I meet her in the afterlife. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Uh let's continue with the trial, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> the accused motive is very it's clear to everyone. Yes, yes, quite. Oh well, boy, this is so not, not looking, looking good. good. 
You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? <laughs> well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Oh, uh, he waits. What do I do? Him answer honestly. I don't know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. <laughs> er, yeah, yeah, I was there, I went. Uh oh. Order! Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill. <laughs> she wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. Like this now. <laughs> you are in the of the queen! <laughs> Lying. Sorry. The prosecution will make the call a witness who proves Mr. Butt is lying. <laughs> I'm Jackson! <laughs> I'm Jackson, motherfucker! <laughs> that simplifies matters. So is your witness. <laughs> the man who found the victim's body just before making a gruesome discovery. He saw the defendants fleeing the scene of the crime! <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's that kind of voice. Oh. Order, order in the courts. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. <laughs> and dude, <laughs> you're such a pain. <laughs> 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 You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw that day of the murder. Witness testimony. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing our apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I crawled in front and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to the nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was at the the man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend who gets testimony like that. You can't fool holes. <laughs> exactly. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. <laughs> Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone Mr. Shetland, or more that Mr. Shawat used was one of those. Even though he said he did not enter the building. I have a record for you, the blackout, the record of the blackout for your pursuit. Blackout record found. Da -da -da -da. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> you may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, cross Your Honor? Alright, Wright. <laughs> this is it. The, the real deal. deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? You're supposed to, you're to expose lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? 
innocent, right? And that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Ring! How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness testimony to the evidence at hand. There's found to be a contradiction in there. First, find a contradiction between the court records and the witness testimony. Then, once you've found the contradiction evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Uh, okay. So we were to press the witness with a with the minus button by waving the Wii mode. Oh, what? Or by waving the Wii mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> Then check the facts again and press uh, the plus button to point out the contradiction. Oh boy. Okay. Um, right now you might want to hit two. Save. Okay. You you have strikes in this. If you mess up and with the point with the uh, point with the using the evidence, it will count against you. So I always just save before any cross examinations. Okay. This is the part where you get to. See, that's your life. Those are your... Yeah. I kind of sight. I found it odd of you to take notice of him. Er, eh. I don't know. He would just seem strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of the crime. Huh. Hmm. So, hold on. Uh, don't, uh, I would try, I would try to look at all of them and then we could check to see. Well, no. Do I hit A or start? No. Uh, you can, I think you can hit A to get more information about it. Okay. Yeah, the time wow. of 7, uh, the, the time of death, uh, 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. Oh, there's a contradiction. Yeah. When we get to it, the time of death was like 4 p.m. He said like 1. Uh-huh. So let's just press all the rest of them until we get to the time one to get more information. Uh -huh. And then once we get to the contradiction part of the time, then he we press that on it. Uh -huh. We will press the thing. What will happen is you'll get to the end of these sentences, these conversations. You just can gather additional information so you can uh, get more, so that you can basically try to figure out which one's the contradiction. I see. So, basically, that's what the hold it does. Okay. Just to get more information. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. Con of course. What the witness means is the man she saw look... Looked suspicious. Oh, of course. The, that, <laughs> there you go. What happened next? <laughs> I forgot the voice for it. I guess. I thought you might be in a hurry. That <laughs> open, you say? say? The door was open halfway, yes. I watched for a moment, but no one came to close the door. I thought, in a big city like this, I thought... Yeah, what? I see, and what happened next? I think it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. What gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. Is it only human to want to peek? We climb mountains because they are there. It's the same thing. <laughs> True words have never been spoken. Anyone would look inside. Hmm. Why did pain cut him off so quickly? So you're looking to the apartment. What happened there? Hmm. Just keep pressing. On. Hold it. Okay. You sure? She are you sure she was dead? Well, no, I guess I wasn't. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. <laughs> but, very well, what happened next? Huh. I quelled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. He said he entered the apartment. So you, you didn't, didn't touch anything in the apartment. Yes, I mean, no, nothing. Okay, what happened next? I thought to call the police immediately. You thought to call the police. Does that mean you didn't actually call them? 
Please listen to us to tell his testimony. He thought to call. He thought to call the police. We're not the next. <laughs> I don't remember. She had the weirdest objections. Yeah, no. Her phone in her apartment wasn't working. Oh, this is the important part. Yeah. <laughs> the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yeah. How would you do no. this? No, it wasn't, right? <laughs> but you but said you, you didn't, didn't go, go into, into the apartment, apartment or, or did, did you? you? Uh, I can explain that. You know what the court was for when the shop in the entrance went? I reached inside and tried to keep all that. The phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I can I have a weird voice and <laughs> go into a nearby park and use the public phone. One more, I think. I'm going to use a public phone. But you see, I don't have a cell phone. And being in the middle of the afternoon, there was no, uh, there was no answer in the nearby apartment. Uh, um, oh, right. So what time did you call again? again? I don't remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Hold it! 1, 1 p.m.? Are, Are you certain? certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. hmm. He seemed really confident. 1 p.m.? Doesn't that seem strange to you? Is that some evidence to contradict him? So it's pretty much giving you a hint to, to contradict right here. Uh, okay, now hit, uh, plus. Alright, now don't just ignore what it's saying there. No. Okay. Free! Yay! <laughs> anyway. Alright, so go to there. Double check it again. The time of death was 4 to 5. Yes. Okay, so, so now that just, uh... Present? Yeah, select. Objection! <laughs> you found the body at 1 p.m.? You You're sure? You got me. Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly, uh, con contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes that the time of death was sometime <laughs> after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, or nobody to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Ring! <laughs> <laughs> Ring! Oh, that? Oh, uh... Objection! There's a chicken on the wiki! He really forgot the time! After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Swat. <laughs> Mr. Swat. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, er, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. Da -da -da. <laughs> so you have to do, point out contradictions. Lies always forget more lies. See through one and the whole story falls apart. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can remember now. Did you care to give your testimony again? <laughs>